Good afternoon. This is the second consecutive Sunday that I've stood here and said what a difference a week makes when it comes to the weather. And just to illustrate the point, yes, in Scotland, Northern Ireland and Northern England last week, we had clear blue sky and sunshine with highs of 28 degrees. We did, however, see some torrential thundery downpours, which led to some localised flooding in the southeast. But this Sunday, we'll be lucky if we get 20 degrees and only in a few places. It's cool out there. And yes, there are still some sharp showers around. Now, don't blame me. Blame this cold front that's been sinking down from the north and it continues to drive in a cooler northerly airflow behind it. It's also the dividing line between these sharper showers that are going to continue to push south. So it's squeezing that warmer air back into the near continent. A northerly wind at any time of year is a cool source, I'm afraid. So disappointing for the next few days. Yes, we'll continue to see some sharp showers and some of these with the odd rumble of thunder. Maybe an inch of rain developing in the southeast as we go through the evening. And further north, we keep some drier weather. We keep some brightness, but those temperatures struggling. And look at just what's happening along that exposed northeast coast, just a top temperature into the mid-teens. Now, as we move out of Sunday into Monday and Tuesday, we've got this brief ridge of high pressure. Best couple of days for the week ahead. It will be a chilly start to Monday morning with single figures in the far north, but it will be a dry one. There'll be some early morning sunshine as well. Cloud will tend to thicken as we go through the afternoon, so a rather grey afternoon, but it should be largely dry. Need to keep an eye on these sharper showers, though, developing into South Wales and South West England. These could become quite torrential indeed. But top temperatures, again, still pretty disappointing for the beginning of August. 15 to 20 Celsius the high. Tuesday, best day of the week in terms of dry, sunny weather. Just a few showers threatening into Northern Ireland. Temperatures still struggling though, 20, maybe 21 if we're lucky. That's 70 Fahrenheit. But as we move out of Tuesday into Wednesday, it gets a little bit tricky with this area of low pressure. We'll need to keep an eye on it. May well just be that little bit further north. So Wednesday's weather story could be subject to change. It does look at the moment as though it's going to be a case of sunny spells and scattered showers and most frequent showers likely across the west and the south. But we'll need to keep an eye on that one. Again, those temperatures well, maybe up to 21 degrees as the wind direction changes back to a southerly pretty light in nature as well. But a real significant gear change from Thursday onwards because of the jet stream. It really fires up and it's the jet stream that drives in areas of low pressure. It's going to be moving right across the UK and you can see we're right under the firing line. So what that means on Thursday is it's not a day for a picnic or a barbecue, I'm afraid. A pretty messy story. There will be outbreaks of rain. There will be strengthening winds as well. Not likely a typical August day, unfortunately. 15 to 21 degrees the high, if you're lucky with the best of the sunshine. And that weather story continues Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Some sharp showers, some of them heavy and possibly thundery and no significant settled weather to come for the end of the week. So if you haven't already got the message, the best of the weather are certainly at the beginning of the week as rain and wind returns a little later on. Bye bye.